Hello everyone, our today's question is tangent from point x1, y1 to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 intersect at right angles. Then we need to show that the normals at the point of contact they meet on the line y by y1 is equal to x upon x1. So I'm going to start with the ellipse considering major axis x axis and a is greater than b in general. So this is our ellipse. Now I'm going to take any two points. Before that I'm going to take the r point from where I'm going to take the tangents. So let's say this point is x1, y1. And from here, I'm going to draw two tangents. Let's say the first one is this. And this point is P of alpha. Key centering angle is alpha. Similarly, one more tangent, something like this. And this is Q of beta. I'm taking from my side. Now, normals drawn at these two points. Since this is 90 here, I'm going to draw normal at these two points. And extending this. So if you draw normals at these two points, it will be something like this. The first one is something like this. And the second one is something like this. Now it is meeting at the point, let's say, uh, from my side, S point. And now they are saying the normals drawn at these two points are meeting on the line, this here, this point, and this is our locus, H comma K. So this is my H comma K, and this is also 90. And this is normals are perpendicular, as you can see. So this is 90, 90, 90. Now, the question is, we have to, we have to find the locus of this S point, that is, y by y1 is equal to x upon x1. So I'm going to start with the coordinates p, that is a cos of alpha, comma b sine of alpha. Similarly, if the eccentric angle is beta, the coordinates are a cos of beta, b sine of beta here. Now I'm going to use the property of rectangle here in order to use this condition that the, they intersect at right angles. So if you join the diagonals of the rectangle, something like this, all of you know the diagonals always bisect at midpoints. So from here, I can compare the midpoint. So in, in two ways, I'm going to write the midpoint. So first is h plus x1 divided by 2. I'm going to write this as a times cos of alpha plus cos of beta divided by 2. Similarly, in one more way, I'm going to write the y coordinate that is y plus or you can say here y1 plus k divided by 2 is equal to you can write b times sine of alpha plus sine of beta divided by 2. So let's say this is our first and second equations here. This is our first equation and this is our second equation. Now here I'm going to divide 1 by 2 here. So if you divide one first equation by second, you will get this as h plus x1 divided by y1 plus or you can say k plus y1 is equal to you will get this as a times cos of alpha plus cos of beta divided by 2. And this 2 and 2 will cancel out. Here we will get B sine of alpha plus sine of beta. Now I think we can simplify this. So I can write this as A times cos of your alpha plus beta divided by 2 multiplied by cos of alpha minus beta divided by 2. Similarly, the whole thing is divided by B sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 and that cos multiplied by cos of alpha minus beta divided by 2 here. So I think two terms will cancel out here, 2, 2 will cancel out here, cos of alpha minus beta, cos of alpha minus beta by 2 will cancel out. So only term is remaining is cos theta by sin theta, that will be cot of alpha plus beta divided by 2 here. Now you're wondering how am I going to calculate here the locus h comma k. So I'll tell you in the next step, that is very important. Now, in order to calculate the locus, first we need to eliminate the arbitrary variable that is alpha and beta. The moment I eliminate alpha and beta, I'm going to replace h by x and k by y, given that x1 and y1 are the given point. So first, I'm going to start with the equation of ellipse, that is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Now, all we know that in order to calculate the tangent at any point, t is equal to 0, we replace x square by xx1 and y square by yy1. So at P and Q, we're going to draw the tangents and they are meeting on the point x1, y1, as you can see. Now, and here, this is x1 and y1 are different from this x1, y1. x1 is the point of contact, y1 is the point of contact. The moment we put, we'll get the equation of tangent that is x by a cos of alpha plus y by b sine of alpha is equal to 1. So this is tangent at P. Similarly, we can write the tangent at P by replacing alpha by beta immediately. So first, I'm going to write the tangent at P. Tangent at P is passing through the R point as you can see. Here, this is R point x1, y1. So I'm going to substitute x1, y1 in this at the same time. So this is x1 by A cos of alpha plus y1 by B 
sin of alpha is equal to 1. Similarly, I am going to write tangent at q. So, tangent at q will be equal to x1 by a. Only one thing will going to change that is the eccentric angle that is cos of beta plus y1 by b sin of beta is equal to 1. Now, let's say this is third equation and this fourth equation. I am going to compare both of them because both are equal to 1. So, from here, if we subtract 3 minus 4, then we are going to generate cot of alpha plus beta by 2 or somehow we will generate tan of alpha plus beta by 2. So, this was the whole idea. In order to calculate the locus, first we need to eliminate the arbitrary variable and that I am doing here. The moment I subtract here, we will get x1 by a. Here we will get this as cos of alpha minus cos of beta. And if I take this on the other side, then we'll get this as y1 by b. And whole thing will be sin beta minus sin alpha here. Now, if we solve this here, uh, I think if we apply cos c minus cos d and sin c minus sin d, we'll get something. That is x1 by a will get 2 times of cos of cos c minus cos d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 and sin d minus c by 2 and here we will get this as this will be equal to y1 by b here we will get this as 2 sin beta minus alpha by 2 and cos of alpha plus beta divided by 2 so as you can see one of the term will going to cancel out here that is 2 and 2 and then sin beta minus alpha sin beta minus alpha will immediately will cancel out here now here we will get this as uh, x1 by a multiplied by b upon y1 will be equal to I think if we divide so cos theta upon sin theta will be cot of alpha plus beta divided by 2 now this was the whole idea now in the next slide I am going to do one thing that is I am going to substitute cot of alpha plus beta divided by 2 here the moment I substitute this I am going to replace h by x and k by y then we will get our locus now in the previous slide I forgot to write one thing that is if you observe in the first slide, here I have taken cot of alpha plus beta by 2. Now, a by b was there. I forgot to write a by b. So, I am going to multiply b here and a here. So, we will get here b by a. I forgot to write here b by a. Now, we have this relation b by a multiplied by h plus x1 upon k plus y1 is equal to cot. And I am going to substitute the value of cot. Immediately, we will get the answer. So, we will see here. So, we will get this as b by a h plus x1 upon k plus y1 here will be equal to x1 by y1 multiplied by b by a here. So, b by a and b by a as it is will cancel out. I am going to cross multiply. Now, here we will get this as h y1 plus x1 y1 will be equal to x1 k plus x1 y1. So, as you can see here x1 y1 is going to cancel out here x1 y1. Now, I think we can replace h by x and k by y in order to calculate the locus. That is, the normals are going to meet on this point. So, we will get this as x y1 is equal to x1 y. So, as you can see here, I, we can write this as x by x1 is equal to y by y1. So, hence proved the locus is going to meet on the line that is this line or you can write this as line as y is equal to y1 by x1 multiplied by x. So, hence proved. Now, moving on to the homework problem of the previous lecture, I have given you. The question was, if any two chords be drawn through the two points on the major axis of ellipse, equidistance from the center. Now, we have to show that if the eccentric angles are alpha, beta, gamma, delta, we have to show that product of tan of alpha by 2 are equal to 1. Now, I think previously the derivation I have given you were for AE, 0. Now, in, in this case, the chord can pass through any point. That is, on the major axis let's say d comma 0 it's passing through d comma 0 and minus d comma 0 now you are going to do the same derivation those who are not able to do the explanations from them see you have to do the same derivation which i've done previously only thing is in the case of a e comma 0 you have to replace d comma 0 in case of minus a e comma 0 you have to replace minus d comma 0 so if you calculate for this case this particular case if the eccentric angles are alpha and beta you are going to calculate like this tan of alpha by 2 multiplied by tan of beta by 2. If you calculate, you will get this as d minus e upon d plus e. So, this is first equation. And second is if you calculate for this point, 
if the eccentric angles are gamma and delta so you'll get this as tan of gamma by 2 multiplied by tan of delta by 2 will be equal to you'll get reciprocal of this that is d plus e upon d minus e so let's say this second equation the moment you multiply you'll get the product of tan of alpha by 2s will be equal to 1 hence prove and that will be all